I just want to start off by saying that I really love my guy. We've been together for 32 years. I expect many more wonderful years. So really, I really love my guy. But early on in our relationship in 1987, I started questioning it because he came home one day and he said, I'm going to apply for a job in Tucson, Arizona. My first reaction, where the hell is that? <laughs> See, I was born in downtown Los Angeles, other side, right? Grew up and lived my young adult years in Southern California, never more than 20 minutes drive from the beach. And oftentimes I lived in places where I could actually walk to the beach. So West Coast was my home and I loved it. I loved it. I met my guy when we were working at a newspaper in Oceanside, which is in North San Diego County. He was, the sports, he was a sports writer and editor and I was the um, education reporter. After a couple of years of dating and living together, we thought, maybe we ought to go on an adventure. Maybe we should try working in a different city. So we made a deal. He would look for a job for a while, and if he didn't find one, then it would be my turn. I was already thinking it would be cool to check out the San Francisco Bay Area. I thought that would be an adventure, living in Northern California <laughs> instead of Southern California. But darn it, he found an ad for a sports editor's position at a place called the Arizona Daily Star. <laughs> at that moment, the only thing I knew about Arizona was Barry Goldwater. <laughs> and as a second generation liberal Democrat, that was scary. That was very scary to me. But hey, a deal's a deal, and I love my guy. So he went ahead and applied, and he got the job. Okay, now it's real. Now this is an adventure that I'm not sure I want to go on. I don't know anybody in Tucson. I don't know of anybody who actually went to Tucson. <laughs> so I was getting a little scared. But I love my guy. So half, half kidding and, and half serious, I said, well, if there's a Chinese restaurant there, then I will go with you. <laughs> now that's a little silly because I'm actually Filipino-American. <laughs> I was raised in a Filipino immigrant household, but truly I had no hope that anybody served Filipino food in a small city in the middle of the desert. So I figured Chinese food, that's close enough. And really, I don't think it was so much about the food, it was more about if there was a Chinese restaurant, there would be people like me there. There would be people who would have the same cultural experience as I did. When we went to look for apartments, thank God, there were a couple of Chinese restaurants that I saw there, so that really was a big relief for me. This is how much I knew about Tucson. Um, and we also went through our first culture shock which was that we were able to get a much bigger apartment for far less money than what we were spending <laughs> in Southern California. So that was a good thing, that was a good start. Once we um, settled in as official Arizonans, I found myself not being able to get the Southern Californian out of me. I started missing Southern California and I started comparing a lot about uh, with Tucson. Before we left, I told my friends that I was really going to miss the beach, um, to which some of my clever friends um, replied, well, there's plenty of beach, it's just a long walk to the ocean. <laughs> yep, yep, I traded in cool ocean breezes for that feeling you get when you open the oven door to check the roasted chicken. <sighs> yep. My first um, monsoon here in Tucson I was by myself in the apartment and I heard a loud boom and the picture frame rattled on the wall and my first instinct was earthquake and I actually ran to the doorway for protection and it was only after a couple of other seconds when another boom and rattle happened that I embarrassingly thought, oh yeah, that's not an earthquake, that's thunder. Of course, we wanted to try the local um, restaurants 
um, pretty early on. So when we decided to go to a nearby uh, Mexican restaurant, I dutifully, like all Southern Californians did at the time, dutifully called them two weeks in advance to be sure that we got a table, <laughs> made a reservation. <laughs> oh, we don't take reservations, is what the woman said on the other line, uh, other side of the line. I said, well, how early do we need to get there to be sure we get a table uh, at a decent hour? She says, oh, just come any time. I was not convinced. <laughs> so we decided we would get there 40 minutes early. And we got a table 40 minutes earlier than we thought was the most perfect time to eat dinner. So that was a lesson, the tempo of Tucson. Um, it was during that meal that we learned that Mexican food in Tucson is actually a little different from Mexican food in Los Angeles. For one thing, we couldn't order a burrito. Um, with my high school in, uh, Spanish, I realized that burro meant probably a larger burrito. So that's what I ordered. Um, so a plate comes, big old platter, with this gigantic stuffed tortilla. I couldn't even lift it. It was the very first time I ever ate a burrito with a knife and fork. So that was something I had to learn. One of the things I was really excited about was um, going to Tucson Meet Yourself. Because I had heard that you can get a really good feel as to who the people were in Tucson. And fortunately, I was not disappointed. I actually found out that there were two Filipino-American social clubs in town, um, which I didn't know about before. And the food at their booth was almost exactly like home cooking. But not only that, um, I found out that there were tons of people, different people here in Tucson, who were from across the country and around the world. And there were a lot of cultures to savor here. So that really made me feel comfortable. Um, very soon after that, I found out that while Arizona is the land of Barry Goldwater, it's also the land of Mo Udall. And Tucson is an island of liberalism in a conservative state. So I felt like there were some people here I can actually relate, with, relate to. So that made me, again, feel very good. I worked for a year for the Arizona Daily Star and also then six years for what's now Visit Tucson. So I felt like I was on the fast track to learning about my new city and more importantly, learning how to um, appreciate it. Uh, we found out very quickly that we were no more than 20 minutes drive from the open desert so that we can get out of the city. It was almost like the same feeling as being able to spend some time at the beach. So that was really nice. We stopped going to 7-Eleven for slushies because of EGs. <laughs> <laughs> And I still tell people today, 30 years after we moved here, I still tell people that one of the most gorgeous things about Tucson is that you can look west and see the most wondrous sunsets as the um, glowing orange sun sets behind the mountains. But you can get equally gorgeous sunsets by looking in the other direction and watching as the Santa Catalinas turn orange and then pink and then lavender, and then night blue. And if you're lucky, you get to watch the moon rise over the Santa Catalinas as the sun is setting behind you. Absolutely gorgeous. My guy and I got married. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. Our daughter is, our, is the first native Arizonan in our family. And so we just started, you know, living life as, as families do. Family activities, changing jobs, buying homes. I run my own business as a freelance writer and editor. Somewhere in that time, I'm not exactly sure when it happened, but I stopped feeling like I needed to get back to Southern California. And I stopped making comparisons. Um, to be honest, the first decade that we were here, when people would ask me where I was from, I would say, well, I live in Tucson, Arizona, but really, I'm from Southern California. And for a while, I just kept thinking, oh, we're going to move, we're going to get back to Southern California. But during, in that time, I realized that an adventure that I was really apprehensive about finally became a place and a time where I set down roots 
and I actually grew into Tucson. So now, 30 years later, when somebody asks me where I'm from, I don't even think about it. I just say, I'm a Tucsonan. Thank you.